that was my fun overdub of the Frank Foster classic, Shiny Stockings. If you're a trumpet player and you play in big band, you have certainly played that. If you haven't, don't worry, you will, because it's one of the all-time classics. And it's a perfect song to demonstrate how great of a section sound this, this brand new uh, solo adjustable cup mute has. Um, the most important aspect, I think, of, uh, of playing in a section with a mute is evenness. Because you've got someone who's playing up high, you've got people playing in the middle and people playing down low. And if you don't have a mute that's even throughout the registers, it's got a, an even tonal color and an even articulation, then your section isn't going to sound uh, cohesive. It's not going to sound like a section. It's going to sound like individual players. And that's not what we want. Whether it's in a big band or whether it's in an orchestra or in a, a pit orchestra, that's something which we really uh, need to match. So it's important, regardless of uh, the mute that you're using, that all the mutes match. Personally, I think this solo cup mute is a, is a great big band choice because it's got such a nice full sound, uh, great articulation, and it's even throughout the registers, uh, as you just heard in the previous example. Um, so, a couple other things about this mute. One, it's adjustable. So, you can, uh, you can adjust it whether you're playing on a B-flat trumpet or a C trumpet, which is great. Also, you can adjust it to be more open or more closed so that you can change the, uh, the tonal color of the sound that's, that's uh, coming out of the mute, which is excellent because if you're playing uh, some solo literature or maybe uh, in a small jazz group, you might want a tighter cup sound, something that's uh, a little more evocative. If you're playing in a big band like the, uh, the section, uh, the clip that I just uh, overdubbed, that I had it opened a little bit more because you want the sound to escape a little more and you want that uh, articulation to be a little clearer and it's got to cut and carry over the trombones and the saxophones and and into the audience so it allows you that versatility that uh, a non-adjustable cut mute doesn't allow um, there's an upgrade for this mute from the previous version and I think it's a it's a small change but it's a it it's there's a big difference that is that the uh, bottom of this mute, the barrel of it, right here, it's tapered at the end. It's a little wider, so you can't accidentally pull the cup section off the mute, which is important because if you're playing a gig, you're playing a show, and you've got to do a quick mute change, and you reach down and you grab the, the mute, but you grab it by the cup section, you don't want to accidentally uh, pull your cup into two pieces. You know, you want the whole mute to come out. So that's not a possibility anymore. And uh, I think it's an it's a important uh, uh, innovation uh, for this mute. Uh, I'm going to play a little bit for you now uh, throughout some registers and a little improvisation so you can hear how it sounds uh, as far as evenness is concerned and as far as uh, uh, when I have it a little tighter in the bell, that type of sound uh, in a solo setting. I'll play some uh, arpeggios, just slurred and articulated, so you can hear how, how it sounds in response throughout the registers. This is perfect if you're playing a, uh, a solo jazz gig, if you're playing maybe the muted section in the Artunian or something that you need that real tight sound. Some big band section work, uh, some uh, pit orchestra. Obviously, uh, the, the musical circumstance will dictate how you're going to have the mute, but when you have an adjustable mute, you have all the options.
got a great sound. It's even from the lower registers through the high registers. It's a it's one of my favorite mutes that I bring on gigs all the time. So I hope that uh, this helps you out if you're uh, interested in uh, the solo mute and uh, wondering how it sounds. Uh, this uh, video demonstration hopefully gave you a good idea. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, check out my other videos. Please subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those.